Hello. Today we are looking at how to install Minecraft Optifin 1.17 on a Chromebook. In this tutorial, we will install Minecraft, then install Minecraft Optifin, and lastly show where the .minecraft folder is. Firstly, we will enable 4 settings on our Chromebook to increase the performance of the game. To do this we will go to these pages and enable the settings. The links are in the video description. Now we will reboot our Chromebook. Goes into the hands of a Toulouse player, Roman Tomac. Great to see him up. Now we will turn on Linux apps. To do this, we will go to our system settings and click on the advanced section on the left panel. Not just over one, two teams, but one team. They've beaten them in Europe. They've beaten them in the top 14. La Rochelle lose again. Although they did beat them with the number of tries scored, Johnny. Now we click on the developer section. Unbelievable game and to lose absolutely. Now we will turn on the Linux apps. Winners played the conditions and the game perfectly. Handled the nerves, managed the game properly, and ran away with it. Now that we have enabled Linux apps on our system, we will continue to the next step, which is to run several commands in a terminal, which will install Minecraft. All the commands are in the video description. Victor, it must be difficult to swallow. It was a, a tough night. They they kind of got ahead of you in the first half. Right, they're uh, the European champs for a reason. We knew the challenge we had coming in. But uh, they, uh, they really put us under the thumb uh, in their first half. Now we will copy the first command and open a terminal session from our app menu. Now we just couldn't come back. Credit to them. You know, they're a quality team. They deserve the win tonight, well and truly, and uh, we just got beaten by a bit of team. They seem to target certain parts of your team, and they did it very well, like Will Skelton. And you were unable to really counter it. Yeah, look, um, you know, they've done their homework, and they, um, you know, they've beaten us a lot of times before, and uh, it seems like they keep getting one over us. So at the moment, uh, they just know how to win, and we've got to find a better way to be able to manage their pressure and come back. Nevertheless, a first top 14 final, the first... European final. Next, we will paste the command into our terminal, either with a two-finger click on your terminal or click Control, Shift and V together. This command will make a copy of your Linux source file. We do this because during this tutorial, we will modify the source file, and in the end, we will revert it to how it was with this copy. The things are looking good for the future. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. Now we will add one line of code to our source file, which will allow us to install Java 16. It's nice to be here, but uh. You know, we work uh, the whole year, we tackled this game to win this game, but, um, hey, that's no difference to any other team, I guess, and uh, just because you put in the work doesn't mean you come out with the result. That's 40. We'll have to redress the problems that went on uh, at another time, but right now it's uh, time to thank the people that came to support us, our families that have been with us the whole year through COVID and everything. Now we will update our Linux system repositories. It's, uh, it's, it's very bittersweet pill to swallow, but that's, uh, that's rugby. Thank you very much for your time. Yes. Well, Victor Vito, of course, yeah, you can put in the work, but you don't get the results sometimes. Uh, you know, it's, it's exactly that. They Now we will install Java 16. Tell us about how your career has gone. You started with the Auckland Blues, you became a legend there. You won two World Cups. How have you just been able to push yourself further and further to the age of 38? I mean, I've been quite lucky throughout my journey. Um, I've played with some incredible players, some of the best. In Press the Enter to confirm the installation. Been given some great opportunities. Awesome Now we will revert our system uh, sources to how it was. Again, we talked about how La Rochelle allowed them to take free ball at line out, then you're forced to defend walls, and ultimately you commit faults, errors, your discipline goes, and it allowed that man. Toma Ramos pot shots that goal, which he took every single time. Sensational stuff, Toma, Toma Lavo. Now we will update our Linux system repositories. Faults there for lifting in the ruck. Now this was the moment that Danny Preso finally got the ball and uh, took it over. It was a nice uh, take there from the line out, and then afterwards, it was the substitute prop Lou said prop who drove over to score the, the only try of the game in fact but ultimately was to be too little too late java 16 is now installed now we will download the java version of minecraft time to go that plat forward and go forward working for them too little too late 
And that's the story of uh, this uh, La Rochelle finale, isn't it? They just didn't manage to get into this game. Uh, they were at Foxed and they were smart. Now we'll extract the installation package. Broken down by the Toulouse team who'd done their work. And I think that what uh, Jerome Kano said, we did our homework. You know, we did our homework. We, we, we worked really hard. Um, Victor Vito, sorry, said they said we, they've done their, they did their homework and they beat us very hard. Now we will launch Minecraft with the next command. Absolutely. They completely nullified the strength of La Rochelle, which is their ball carrying their go forward. That game line we talked about. And time and time again, they just repelled them, chopped them down, got them on the deck, removed any gain line or momentum that they were looking to generate. And there was just nowhere to go. Absolutely nowhere to go defensively. See the players come up. Uh, if you encounter this error, please launch Minecraft again. Uh, interesting to, to hear from Jerome Kainer. He, he will be appreciated big time down in Toulouse. Uh, working with all of those youngsters some of them with the under 20 squads in cardiff playing with france like trevor brennan's young son as we see romain sazi kevin gordon the la rochelle players who can hold their heads up high this has been a breakout season for them wait there a second if you think about it they came up from the pro d2 the second division in 2014. Yep. patrice Calazzo was there xavier garbajosa joined forces greg magic and they they finally find some the winning recipes to produce the right results. Now we will install Minecraft Optifin. Firstly we will download it. Open it in your file manager. Rename it to optifin.jar. Move it to your Linux folder.
if you can't move the file, turn your Chromebook off and on again. Let's move it again. Now we will make Optiven executable as a program. Now we will install Optifin. Install it. Now we will create a desktop icon for Minecraft. Firstly, we will install a menu editor. Press enter to confirm the installation. With the last command, we will launch the menu editor. Choose a category. Create a launcher. Choose a name of your choice for the desktop entry. The command is in the package called Minecraft Launcher. Now we need to customize the launch command. Please follow the video as a guide. Save the launcher. Let us launch Minecraft Optifit.
Now we will show you how to access the .minecraft folder. Enjoy!